Hi, and welcome to another episode. In this episode, shall we explore the new space? As you can see, this is a bit bigger than the previous office and even has a first floor, if you will, the mezzanine. And together with the mezzanine, the total floor area, I guess, is over 2,300 square feet, or roughly 220, 30 square meters. As you can imagine, this can fit quite a bit of machinery. But speaking of machinery, I've noticed a trend. Naturally, I'm looking at other uh, content creators, if you will, who uh, who might or might not come from the same industry as us. And what I can see in quite a few cases that people plain uh, go out of their way, if you will, to hide the manufacturers, the brands of the machinery, of the equipment that they use, not because they are, uh, let's say, shy that they're using a generic no-name no brand type of situation, but plain because they are afraid of competition. Now, as you can see, that's a Konica Minolta. That's a Konica Minolta. That's a Konica Minolta. And there is, in my opinion, there is never a case uh, where you have to hide the manufacturing or the equipment that you do. The, the, the simple fact is, these companies, well, maybe not this exact one specifically, but obviously the manufacturers are making equipment. They put money into spreading the word uh, of their machinery, their brand, their equipment. And as such, uh, people who will need to find an equipment of sorts, of any production, of any type of equipment, they'll just Google it and they'll eventually stumble upon the brand that they will uh, uh, purchase, whatever brand it will be. But then again, if I tell you that this is a Konica Minolta, two of them digital printers, this is your usual, but more upgraded office machine, but still, what are you gonna do? I mean, be my guest, go buy a digital printer, or in this case, digital printer, or any other machine, like we've got the uh, Mimaki, for example, for the uh, vinyl printing, which is a uh, solvent printing machine, you're more welcome to go and, and use our experience to buy the machinery, the equipment, and, and to try to begin to the manufacturing of, of any of the products, because the competition, for one, is a good thing. It helps businesses to evolve the products to be a re-release, redesign, or, or, or uh, plain design from brand new, and it's. I really see no point of hiding the brand of the manufacturers. In fact, I'll show you every single brand of the machinery that we've got here in the office. And speaking of that, let's get back on track. It's the office with the after all in it. As I've just mentioned, on this level within this corner of the office we've got a digital printer which is a Konica Minolta Bishop C6000L a smaller version of Bishop as well that's a C284E and what technically is called in this case Icon but this is a direct replica of the Konica Minolta C5500 if I'm not mistaken and slightly over there you can see the supplies and obviously after the supplies is yet another fiery controller. That's what is used for the Konica digital printers. Uh, it is not just the printer alone, uh, it is uh, controlled by the controller and therefore that's how the synergy of the two companies work. You've got your printer of the Konica Minolta and you've got your controller which is firing. On the opposite wall you can see that we've got one of our guillotines here got some sublimation printing going for your heat press needs as in mugs and t-shirts and high-vis vests and so on and you can see that there is also a laminating station now this is used for two things obviously when the Mimaki the big printer that's 
in the uh, is printing something large and it needs to be laminated therefore this is where this comes in but this also is used as a decal taping station at a point where it's not just three stickers that you're doing per day where you're doing meters and tens of meters per day you need to get yourself a somewhat more production uh, sorry more efficient oriented way of uh, making your decals and therefore uh, a laminating machine appears to be doing a good job of that uh, as in laminating decal itself as we come through the door where the sublimation printer was you can see that we've got some sublimation substrates uh, that are stored in here for the easy access for that but mainly this part of the office this was originally the office for the previous company nonetheless this is where the platform printer is located in our case this is a Mimaki uh, CJB 300 160 refers to width of the machine so we can handle the media up to 160 centimeters uh, however many dollars in imperial measurement a crucial part that you will actually need and not everybody considers that is a huge desk trust me this is a must and you'll enjoy working on this and you'll absolutely hate working on your standard office desk of 120 by 90 centimeters apparently this is everybody's favorite part which is removal of the matrix from the printed stickers so here, we, here you go enjoy As you can see, the upper level looks somewhat like the original office used to look like with the printers, the cameos and the uh, shipping materials, I guess, and the manual um, application tape, uh, application tape, application device. We're worth in, but I'll go for it. And obviously this is nowhere near its final look and speaking of that we did get the keys to this office in late january i do believe and of the day of filming this it is june Oof. so now we are in june and pretty much almost half a year later this is how the office looks and it's nowhere near its final form there's still some equipment missing and most important thing uh, two most important things is desks you'd be surprised how many desks you need and more importantly even than desks is the shelving system as you can see we've still uh, we are still utilizing mostly our smaller type of shelves they are uh, 180 centimeters high so now you know what my height is uh, by 40 I do believe by 90 centimeters again however many that is in the um, not handy units anyhow um, as you can see there never has been or there uh, is a secret of what printing equipment we're using even in this area because these two are actions them five are epsons there's a sixth epson in there there's another epson uh, and there are six cameos there's a graphic there there is a graphic there so we've got two graphics and obviously if that information was somehow useful to you be my guest and probably lastly as you can see this is what i said this is the office that i operate out of solely because I need the sound insulation from all of the machinery that's constantly working and obviously it's not too comfortable making phone calls uh, and working with people when there's too much noise and you can barely hear the other person as you know uh, there are companies who are using the phones uh, with triple duct tape over the microphone so you can't hear them and so on and so forth I'll have to return back to work and hopefully you've learned something now I'll see you next time I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient okay 
just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look